Well, hey folks, my name is Brad, and if you happen to be new to my channel, I search the mountains of Vermont with my metal detector, searching for old and valuable treasures. And today, I was invited out to a massive property by my two friends, Phil and Tom. You may recognize them from videos in 2023. In fact, I was with them when I found my number one find of the year. If you haven't seen my top 10 list, feel free to go check that out. Now, according to them, there are five or six old buried home sites out here. They've been here a few times and they have found a ton of awesome things, old coins. I cannot wait. We're gonna go link up with them. I'm gonna get the metal detector out. As you probably can tell, I have mittens on. I don't believe it's gonna get out of the teens today. <laughs> We're gonna bundle up and see what we can find. Certainly. Round to it's an old copper. Well, Tom has found the first real old coin today. It's like an old copper. It does, very thin. Now in the past, you guys have found large cents, but there's always a possibility that it could be something much older than that. Fortunately, a lot of times they come out of the ground like this, but sometimes with some work, you can get them cleaned up. We'll see if we can with this one. It's still worth its weight in copper, right? Good way to start the day. <laughs> Well, now Phil's on the board. He thinks. Green and round. Geez, you guys know how to find them. <laughs> They're here. You will find them by the day's end, I'm Jeez. sure. Can you tell what it is? I cannot. I haven't. Let me uh, toothpick it a little bit, see what I can find. Yeah, if you want. Looks like Britannia's shield there. Oh, Looks wow, like yeah. Left, left facing. That's an old E. King George II. Good for you. <laughs> 57. What do we have here? <gasps> no way. <gasps> and it's complete. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Nice. That is a sign of an old site too. Yes, this is uh, a musical instrument from, I would guess, the late 1700s. Um, we have done a little bit of walking. We're at a new area, uh, an older area. And uh, this is called a mouth harp. Now, it has lots of different names. I know folks down in the south call them juice harps. Some folks call them juice harps. I've done research on them, and the earliest known mention of these instruments um, was in a different language. Um, Chinese, I think, actually. Uh, and they called them mouth harps. Uh, so that's why I call them. But anyway, let's pull this thing out. Take a look at it. Yes. Iconic shape. There's no mistaking what this thing is. All in one piece. Can't believe it. I find fragments of these all the time, but I've only ever found one other complete one. Uh, so the way this would have worked is there would have been a thin piece of brass uh, coming down through the middle of this, extending beyond. You'd put it up to your mouth and you'd flick it and you would use the inside of your mouth uh, to project the sound. And it made like a boing boing sound. And you, the, when you changed the shape of your mouth, it made it sound differently. Not exactly a tonal instrument, it was more of a rhythmic instrument, but an instrument nonetheless. So cool. It's starting to snow. Awesome. Likely, doesn't it? Tom's back with a reveal. There she is, another old copper coin. Well, we just sprayed some rubbing alcohol on there and we can very clearly see the date now, 1812 large cent. Pretty cool. I'm still waiting for mine. I'm happy with that. <laughs> it's out here. Well, Phil was walking at me again with a smile on his face and a clump of dirt in his hand. It's green and round. Thick. Reed is starting to come through. Another large scent. I've lost count how many that is today. And a shop penny and a nickel. These folks had some money. They were just like tossing it out their window. They had so much. <laughs> awesome.
There it is. Silver? Nope. Wild. Well, I was wondering when it would be my turn today. The time has come. And just like the others that were found here, this is covered in this kind of brown, muddy corrosion. I'm gonna give it a spray with some isopropyl alcohol and see if maybe we can figure out what it is. All right, we have the left facing Lady Liberty there. Hopefully you can see her nose and chin and eye there. And of course we can see the wreath where it says one cent. This is a US large cent. Great find. First copper coin of 2024. Not the last, I hope. Who knows what else could be here? What an awesome place. Every target you just have absolutely no idea what it could be, how old it could be. These guys have the best spots. Awesome. Silver, huh? Yep. <laughs> you sound disappointed. I'm disappointed because I kissed it. <laughs> a little... There she is. Oh, who cares? It's been in the ground. It was not where it was supposed to be. They come out of the ground really pretty. They do. Looks like the date wore off. I'll edit that scratch out and post. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. Can you make it a 50 cent piece? Sure. All right. Good for, go for you. A, go for a dollar. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Awesome place. 81. Loud. Solid. Like the ground. <laughs> Well, I have something around here, but it is enormous. What in the world? It's light. Like it's made out of a computer. Clearly homemade hole in this thing. Well, not quite sure what this thing is. We're gonna spray it and see if maybe there's some detail on it. By the composition of the metal, it almost feels like it's a old counterfeit, but let's take a look at it here. Well, I have no idea. There's definitely images on both sides of it. And as I had mentioned, by the composition, it's like a very crumbly lead pewter material. It almost seems like the, some of these counterfeits that I have found in the past, imitating copper coins, silver coins. Um, I even found a counterfeit gold coin and it was all kind of made out of the same cheap metal. I'm going to have to do some more work on this when I get home, but there's definitely something around the outside of this side. And this one, it almost looks like there's an... Ah, I can't see it enough to tell. Let me know what you think you see, and then I'll throw up a picture on the screen once I'm able to clean it up a bit. It could be a watch fob. It could be a campaign token. I love... I love things like this because it can be anything and I get to do some research on it. Wish I could read some text on it, but awesome. Let's see what else we can find. 91. Do you remember what you found right here? No. Okay. There's a hole right here and there's a 91 right here. 96. Clean? Oh yeah. Silver. I think it's the same thing you found. Well, I've never found one of these. Ever. <laughs> Look at how it's in the clump still. Amazing. Beautiful. The eagle. So unlike the copper coins that we've been finding, silver, for the most part, remains untouched from the soil. It might turn a little bit black sometimes, but generally they stay beautiful and shiny. And Tom said that his didn't have a date, but mine does. 1929. A hundred years more modern, plus some, 
than the uh, large scent. What an awesome find. These are notorious for not having dates because it was kind of on a raised part of the coin and it would be the first thing to wear off. So I can't tell you how excited I am that the very first one I ever found, almost a decade into this, has a date, a legible date on it. And it looks like it's in pretty crisp condition. Do you have yours on you that I can compare real quick? You can see how this one, the, the date has worn away. Mine is pretty close. Uh, and we think, we're not sure, we think that maybe that one came from two feet away, three feet away. So I'm gonna stand up, move the cameras away, and we'll let Phil take a stab at this area. Maybe they'll be number three. <laughs> Thanks guys, what an awesome day, beauty. Ninety-one. Very quiet. Probably because it's under a glacier. Oh, it's out. Whatever it is. Yeah, there it is. I think that is a coin. For sure. Man, it has not warmed up very much today. It's got to still be in the teens. But... We are making the most of it. We all have big old copper coins now. I have number two for the day, and this one is considerably nicer than the last one. I didn't have to do anything to this one. I just gave it a little bit of a wipe, and we can almost make out a date down there. I don't know if it's 18, 18. I'm not sure, we're gonna have to figure that out later, but this is what most of the coins come out looking like. But for some reason, this side came out looking real nice. And we're still kind of trying to figure out what was going on here. We knew that there was a structure because of all the brick in the ground and there's a little bit of a depression, but why there's so many coins. You have to imagine these folks were poor Vermont farmers. Dropping even one or two of these would have hurt. But now between the three of us, we've got a handful of these things. This is worth the cold temperatures and icy ground. Let's see what else we can find. All right, I've got a 90. We'll see. And she is. Oh, oh heck yeah. Complete. <laughs> With a patina on it. Well, when we first arrived here, uh, Tom was telling me that he found the biggest coronal bell he had ever found uh, here, just a chunk of one. Um, and then I found a chunk of a smaller one and we have another smaller piece yet but it's actually the whole bell and this one you can see was actually silver plated a lot of the plating is still there uh, and i believe that this is probably a more modern bell because of the silver plating and because of the attachment up here i'm fairly certain would have been attached to a strap of leather like a very typical you know sleigh bell around the horses Wonderful find. I love finding crotal bells. Jingle bells in this case. Little one. I'm sure there's more of them here. Probably the whole strap of them. 90. Real nice target. Oop. Might have scratched it. I did. It's okay. Looks like a copper. Man, I haven't dinged one in a while. What are you? How upset should I be? Well, I can honestly say I have not autographed a coin like that in a very long time. It's been years, but I'm not trying to make excuses, but the ground is very, very hard. <laughs> in any case, let's take a look at this coin. I'm fairly confident it's British. And I did scratch it right straight down the middle here. Doesn't look too bad. All right, let's see if we can see what king it is. Well, I don't think it's British. <laughs> or if it is, it's not one I recognize. Let me take a minute, see if we can get this cleaned up with some rubbing alcohol and see what happens. All right, well, it's been a bit Googling on our phones. Phil and I have been searching up as much information on this coin as we can. As it turns out, there's 
quite a bit of legible text on here. Illegible on the left, it says Nova Eborak on the right side, which as we learned is Latin for New York. This is actually a 1787 New York state copper. Last spring, these guys invited me out and I found my very first New Jersey state coin. It was on my top 10 list. I actually found two more since then in less than a year. But here is my very first New York state copper. Incredible. I feel terrible that I scratched the back of it with my shovel. And I felt even worse because as we were Googling it, the first result was worth $28,000. But it's not, it's a couple hundred uh, in this condition maybe. This is the bust. Nova Iborak, and then the Britannia side with a slice through her face, and down at the bottom, uh, it would have said 1787. Incredible, I can't thank you guys enough for inviting me over and over again to find awesome stuff that I've never found before. Two today now. Anytime I wanna find something amazing, I know where to go. Man, incredible. I was just filming my Nova Iborak down here, and Phil walks over with yet another piece of money. I see the stars coming out. It's a U.S. Excellent. Nice. How many is that now? I keep a count? Uh, that's two U.S., a KG, a nickel. Man, you're rich. You would have been rich in 1820. Whew. Right, nine cents. <laughs> All right, I don't know if I can handle anymore. Got a 92. I'm gonna really, really try not to hit this one. 92. I think the ground is getting harder as the day goes on. Oh, it's another copper. Unbelievable. Man, by the thickness of that, it seems like it's probably a large scent, but. Man, these people driving by must think we're nuts out here. It, what is it, like 18 degrees? snowing, but we know better. Well, there she is. Old US large scent. This side is still pretty caked up with mud, but man, these people had some money and they lost it <laughs> for some reason. You know, we always assume that they were dropping it out of their pockets or pretty much where a building was, right? We're finding bricks in the ground and stuff. Maybe they had like a jar of coins in their house and they had it like stuffed under the floorboards or something and they forgot about it. And the house rotted away. What if this was like their bank and they got scattered about by the plow? You never know. Somebody's hoard. What a way to kick off the year, 2024. Coppers and silver and goodness gracious. Well, it is the end of the day. Honestly, it's just past three o'clock, but the temperature has dropped significantly. The wind has picked up. We're getting all of our treasures out so we can take a look at it all. And uh, it is quite the pile today. All right, starting from the top, a bright purple pocket knife. Uh, right next to it, we have a pile of old pewter spoons, a broken crotal belt next to a beautiful complete Crotobel, although I believe this one is probably well into the 20th century because of uh, the way it's made up top here and then it's silver plated. Nine little uh, cuff buttons. They're all different kinds of materials, brass and white bronze. One singular musket ball, although it is unfired, it's perfectly round, and uh, the mouth harp, jaw harp. Right out front, the Standing Liberty Quarter, first one I've ever found. With the date, we have one to three US large cents, but that copper coin right there is in fact a New York state copper, another first 1787. And lastly, this thing in the back, as it's dried out, it seems as though there's some writing on there, although we can't read it yet. It seems like it was very crudely punched there. So maybe it's a counterfeit coin. Maybe it's like a watch fob. Maybe it's some kind of political token. Can't wait to find out. All right, we have Phil's treasures here. It, it looks exactly like a socket, but 
it's not. I mean, we're on an old, old, old site here. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, I like the idea of it being like a tool ferro, like for a chisel or a you know file or something. Did you count your buttons? How many buttons you got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Musket balls, your chicken blinders, mm -hmm. a nickel. Or do we decide it was a V-nickel? A penny that's been shot, a really destroyed copper, and then uh, three others. You've got your George II and two large cents. Good for you. Great pile. Good day. Good day's work. All right, and here we have Tom stuff. <laughs> um, this is, we thought maybe that was like a little silver buckle at first, but it's a uh, silver plate brass. Still very, very cool though. That might have been worn on a person. We got some lead, some musket balls, a little hinge or something. It's a hinge, yep. Uh, what do we decide that was? Like a sword scabbard <laughs> or a sword cross piece. Now we're not really sure. You just found this. This is the oldest site. It does seem modern, but it could be old too. We're not really sure about that one. Brass, it's heavy. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five buttons, and then your coins. That 1812 large cent cleaned up beautifully. This one, unfortunately, doesn't seem like there's much on there. And then your Standing Liberty silver quarter. Have you ever found a Standing Liberty before? Maybe one. Yeah, they're hard to come by. Good for you. All right, folks. Well, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We have snow on the forecast uh, tomorrow, I think, like almost a foot down my way. So this is more than likely going to be the last time I get to do any metal detecting. We get to do any metal detecting until springtime, unfortunately. But what a way to end it. Thank you guys yet again for another invitation to one of your sites that, which I didn't mention this before, you guys started finding some good stuff and you're like, let's save this for Brad. Who That's does that? Good. These guys do. Hope you enjoyed today's video and hopefully I will see you next week for another adventure, probably not in Vermont. Thanks again. Yeah.